Spy from WSLS. This is 10 News at Noon, working for you. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Patrick McKee. The snow, it's continuing to fall for us across the region this afternoon. We've got live team coverage for you, covering all angles of this in uh, the region. But we are going to start off with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jonathan Kaga says we look at what we can expect as we head into the Jonathan. Hey Patrick, yeah, we are still tracking that heavy snow across the area, especially across south side right now. That's where we're seeing the heaviest bursts throughout the area. Winter storm morning continues until midnight tonight for that likelihood of continued heavy wet snow throughout the area. Winter weather advisories in purple that also goes until midnight. Again, we're seeing the heaviest snow right now transition to across south side. Danville, you see that here, that very, very heavy pocket of snow, light to moderate snow now for us in Lynchburg, Lexington, some lighter snow for us starting to get lighter in the New River Valley. Probably about after seven o'clock, we really started to take snow rates about an inch to even two inches per hour. You see that there in those darker blues really going across your screen over the last couple of hours. Now some breaks, if you will, as we get some drier air to push back into the area. Again, the heaviest snow right now coming at us across south side. Good afternoon in Chatham. We are seeing those heavier bursts of snow. Same thing for us in the River City throughout Martinsville and Henry County right now. We are also seeing those very, very heavy snow rates across the area. For more on how much snow we are seeing, we're going to send it outside to meteorologist Beverly Perry. Yes, I'm live here in downtown Roanoke. We are still seeing the snow coming down at a fairly steady pace at this moment in time, and it's still that wet, heavy snow that's coming down. Overall, looking pretty good on the roadways at this moment in time. Traffic moving at a good speed out here. You can definitely tell that the roadways are just on the wet side. Do be careful, a little bit slick underfoot if you're walking on the sidewalk. I just about slipped out here and definitely seen it accumulate uh, on the grassy surfaces. Downtown Roanoke so far has picked up about an inch and a half of snow. Taking a look at other snowfall totals across the region, we're looking at Galax City about six and a half. Christiansburg, six inches so far. And these reports are as of 11 o'clock in the morning. Newport, four matching that in Salem and again in Roanoke, about an inch and a half and it's still coming down. We're definitely going to keep you up to date on the very latest live in downtown Roanoke. Beverly Perry, 10 News. Thank you, Beverly. We continue our team coverage as we take you to the New River Valley where some of those higher snowfall totals have been reported this morning. Live look for you over the Virginia Tech campus. Things uh, look to be not quite as snowy for us right now, but you can certainly see everything is covered except for the roadways. 10 News reporter Allison Wickline is there working for you, looking at the latest conditions. Allison, what are you seeing? Well, Patrick, we are here in Blacksburg where we have seen some of the heaviest snow this morning, actually just measured right beside me. And right now we are at five inches on the ground. Now today we drove around Blacksburg as well as Christiansburg to get a check on road condition. And I'll tell you, the roads weren't great there for a while. At first, the snow was much lighter, but later in the morning, the snow actually became heavier and it started to really stick to those roads. We saw a lot of plows out on the road. But at times the snow was just falling so fast it was really hard to keep up. And there were some people who weren't phased by the winter weather and others who had no choice but to hit the road and hope for the best. This is like a typical October for New York State, born and raised there. So this really isn't nothing I'm not used to. I've been through a lot worse than this. When we had to travel, we actually stayed in town um, from Nares, Virginia, and our son's five. He had tonsils and adenoid surgery this morning over here at Montgomery. So we played it safe and came over last night and stayed. Now, Virginia Tech was originally on a delay, but they have officially closed the Blacksburg campus. Montgomery County Public Schools is also closed for the day. Live in Blacksburg, Allison Wickline, 10 News, working for you. Extra day of spring break for some. Well, we're continuing to follow slick road conditions in the Roanoke Valley as well. Give me a live look from our Poor Mountain Sky Cam, where you can see that snow clinging to the trees there on top of the mountains, kind of stuck in the clouds right now. 10 News reporter Aaron Brookshire, she has been checking things out on the mountaintops for us this morning. Aaron, how are the roads looking for you? Patrick, well, you can see still some slick roads here on Mill Creek Road. This is on Bent Mountain. We did just see two plow trucks come through, so some good news. They are working to get to these secondary roads already, and the road conditions here on the side streets are a lot like what we saw throughout Floyd. Floyd County High School was quiet this morning as schools were closed because of the snow. Several inches blanketed the football field, turning it into a sea of white, and across town, employees at the Harvest Moon Food Store say it's been a slow morning after seeing big crowds this week. Weekend. 
people were here on Saturday and Sunday getting ready for the grand snowstorm. And then today we were like, you know, they're home, they got their fire going, hopefully they're eating their good homemade bread and making soup from the harvest moon. And uh, maybe we'll see somebody by noon. Sounds delicious. And in downtown Floyd, business owners like Jim Short were hard at work making sure the sidewalks were all cleared and safe for people to walk on as required by a town ordinance. No, it's not bad. Actually, it's just it's kind of a wet snow, so it's it's not really bad at all. And it's wet, heavy snow we're still seeing across the region as many of these side roads are just now starting to be touched. But I want to show you Route 221 here, Bent Mountain Road, completely clear. This is a road that crews have been working hard to plow all morning long. So just keep that in mind. While many of these main roads are looking clear, those side streets still very slick. You'll want to take your time if you do have to head out this afternoon, Patrick. All right, Aaron Brookshire live for us on Belt Mountain. Aaron, thank you. By mid morning, the Roanoke Valley finally started getting in on its snow as those heavier bands moved in. Still seeing that snow fall is give you a live look over the valley this afternoon. Looks like roads, though, aren't looking too bad for us. 10 News anchor Brittany McGraw is live at the intersection of Orange Avenue and Interstate 581. Brittany, what are you seeing there? Well, Patrick, that's probably one of the first questions that people have. What do the roads look like? So we want to get right to that. This is at the intersection of Orange Avenue and Williamson Road, and you can see roads are relatively clear. Yes, they're a little slushy because the, the uh, snow that we've had coming down is kind of that rain snow mix. But where you will see an accumulation of snow is on these grassy surfaces. You can see a lot of that here. And again, it's kind of that snow that is uh, wet and slush slushy, pretty good to make snowballs with. But we do want to show you a little video that we got earlier in downtown Roanoke in which you could see a light accumulation of snow on the roads. We found this light coating earlier this morning. This wet snow has been falling all morning and crews with the city have been out salting roads to help keep them clear. Now we are expecting the snow to continue into the afternoon. And of course, you can count on us to continue to bring you coverage of what you can expect as the snow continues. Reporting live in Roanoke, I'm Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you. If you're heading out to lunch, do be careful. Even Southside got in on a little bit of snow. The day started off with mainly rain, but as the cold air started to arrive, we saw the changeover taking place there. Now, not seen a lot here. It's so at least so far. It's just enough to cover the cars over and start to get some on the grass. Sidewalks and roadways continue to remain wet, but the snow not sticking there, at least not yet. This heavy snowfall is leaving nearly 2000 people in the Commonwealth without power. Right now, the Star City is getting hit the hardest with more than 800 customers in the dark this afternoon. Grayson County now has more than 600 people without power and Smith County currently around 250 people do not have power. Much of the Northeast, they're bracing for this nor'easter to pack a snowy punch. It looks like they'll start to see it tonight. More than a foot of snow is expected to bury places like New York, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania. This is the third major storm to hit in the past week and a half. Blizzard-like conditions and coastal flooding are expected. Meteorologists say people should expect nearly impossible travel conditions. People who are recovering from the last two storms are ready for the weather to calm down. It's been seven days that we've been without power and it's been a struggle. It's ready for the season to be over. I think I've had enough shoveling for this year. <laughs> can imagine the National Weather Service expects snow to accumulate at least for some at a rate of two inches per hour later on tonight. We've received a lot of pictures from you uh, throughout the morning hours of the snow that's falling. Kathy sent us this picture of the uh, swing set there looking a little snowy for you. You can see the ground uh, also covered in snow. Heather Caldwell in Craig County sent us this. It looks like big flakes are coming down there in the headlights of the car. We want to see your pictures. You can send them to us on Facebook or send us an email news at WSLS.com and we may feature some of those here on 10 News. Our winter weather coverage is continuing as we go throughout the day. For the very latest, you can stay up to date with the Storm Team 10 and the 10 News mobile apps. You can also get the very latest uh, conditions online at WSLS.com, including the radar, forecast, and information about school closings and delays. Give you a live look. This is Interstate 81, mile marker 116 in Christiansburg, where it looks like the roadways are wet but clear, but certainly you can see the snow on the shoulder and in the median. 
Uh, Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jonathan Kegas back to update your forecast. Tell us when the snow is going to move out. All right, back in downtown Roanoke where we're seeing the snow continuing to come down for us. And as we've been talking, this is the heavy wet stuff. It's kind of clinging to everything behind us. Yeah, it's that real pretty snow that may add a, a few problems later tonight, especially when it's on the power lines and the winds crank yep. up to about 20 or 30, but it sure looks gorgeous. It really does. Final look at the forecast shows this sticking around today, but tomorrow gone. Much, much better tomorrow other than a few mountain snow showers. We're going to have the sun come out a little bit. Temperatures get back in the 40s. are already starting to melt a lot of this and just wait until St. Patrick's weekend. We're talking 60s and it looks dry on Saturday for the parade right now. That close to 70 close, degrees Yes. as we head into Sunday. So it's definitely going to start transitioning us towards spring as no we go later it. and later into the <laughs> and Hopefully we keep it this time rather than bring back some of the winter. That would be a nice change mm -hmm, of pace. No doubt. If you are heading out, slushy conditions on some of the roadways as we've seen a lot of stuff mm -hmm. fall and melting there. Temperatures are above freezing, but certainly some refreezing, especially as we get into tonight, a possibility as temperatures get down a few more degrees. So. No doubt about it. Yeah, we have temps around 30 tonight, so just be on the lookout for that, especially with all that slush and mess on the roads out there. Some of that could congeal and kind of be slick. So just be on the lookout for that by tomorrow morning. Again, improvements as we get towards Thursday, especially Friday and Saturday. Now go outside and build a snowman. Sounds good. That is our time together here at noon. We thank you for spending part of your snow day with us. We'll see you back here at 5 with our 90 minutes of local news. Have a great afternoon.